Was that the beginning of a mustache I see? You've come a long way from the kid that used to wet his bed. So, do the police have any news yet? Daniel, you know Gabelo is crafty, but they're trying to track him down by his bank card and mobile phone activity. I hope he has not skipped town. With the restriction on interstate travel, I doubt he can do that. Then we are in luck, I guess. Your fingers crossed, man. I just hope they find him soon. And not just for me, but any other woman out there he can target. Um, hang on a second, please. Okay. Uh, it's Chantal. Ah, Mr. Lover Boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even like that. Daniel, when you finally make up your mind to date someone, <laughs> I'm gonna pop some champagne. Well, that's if I can afford it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zamo is calling. Um, I've been expecting a call. Can I call you later? Sure, later, Dineo. Hey, Zamo, what's this big news you texted me about? Dude, drama. Drama, you're not gonna believe this. You remember Saul? We can't forget. Ugh. And you also remember the guy who paid me to make him my bedazzled masks? Yeah. One person. Soul is Bundy. Le Bundy like a soul, D. You're joking, right? I'm telling you. I wish. I really wish I was joking. Hey, Lemo. How you doing, little man? Q, I see Billing called you. Yeah, you know she wants what's best for you, Lemo. So, when can I come and get you? Or can you make your way over? I just don't think it's right for me to just abandon Aunt Namalanga's house like that. You're not abandoning it. We'll just send the keys to Bongi. Yeah, I already talked to her and she's expecting them. And I could use the company too, you know? Yeah, but you have friends. Yeah, but... They not computer savvy like you. What? Yeah, I need your help with coordinating my sports training online. So when EP called and asked if he could stay with me until she got back from Joburg, I was like, yes. Oh, so that's the real reason you want me to come and stay? Nah, EP asked, like, you know. But yes, this is definitely a bonus. Nah, but you know I like doing all that computer stuff, so it's gonna be hard for me to say no. This isn't fair, Q. So you'll come over then? I'll think about it. Well, just don't take too long. Aunt Lomalanga wouldn't want you moping around forever because of her. You know this, right? <laughs> That's a sad smile. You promised Aunt Lomalanga that you would do better. So crack a real smile for me, my man, will you? Yeah, but what does smiling have to do with anything? <laughs> well, let's just pretend it does. Okay, little man? <laughs> Great. So, I'll send you my address and you'll come over. Yeah, I will. Thanks, Q. Hey, and don't forget to wear a mask, yeah? Okay. Thanks. I will. That's when I called to be sure, D. And when I saw his face, yo, oh, D, I shook like I was shaking to my bones. Why would he change his name and then go around deceiving people like that? A manipulator, just like Cabello. And when I looked him up online, I saw pictures of him and his girlfriend, some Han in the music business, Bali. Do you think she knows about him? I don't know. I've been trying to wreck my brain about it. But what if she does know and then she doesn't think it's a big deal? But what if she doesn't know and he hurts her like he did Sulu? You know. I know. Also, there's this issue that he has already paid me for my face masks. Have you made them already? Yes, they're here. Just sitting and waiting to be sent out. But I don't think I want to do business with him, Dineo. It's just a sale. It could have been anybody else. Yeah, but now that I know it's him, how does he go around getting his money? What if he's a fraudster or something? Yeah, seeing he used to sell drugs back in the day, I see where you're coming from. He's a possible fraudster, a drug dealer, and an abuser of women. Ah, D, I can't. I really can't do business with him. 
but also i need the money so much i really need to reopen my nail salon i know yeah this is a tough one because <sighs> Stand aside, stand aside. So when I turn on the masks, it's a done deal. Hmm? You'll have them to you very soon. <laughs> okay, Vanille, listen, I don't want any disappointments, okay? My friends will roast me if you don't. I've already reassured everyone. Sure, sure. Um, no worries. Um, my sister, my little sister is calling me. I've been going on to pin the loan. I'll chat to you later here. Oh, look at how your face just lit up. Oh man, you're making me want to have a big brother. Hey, I'll take a big brother when when he lives here. Oh, thank you, baby. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Please, man. Okay, fine. Listen, um, Nasakai, I'm just checking up on you, you know? How you doing, especially with, you know, lockdown and everything. Uh, hope you're keeping with the social distancing rules and regulations. I'm not a kid, okay? I wear my mask and I keep safe. I don't need you checking up on me. Bye. Uh, tuli, tuli, tuli. Wait. What now? Tuli. I'm sorry you have a young bone close. A lot about me has changed. Mm. Like a new name. Yeah, my friend saw you online calling yourself Bandile. Yeah, well, I had my reasons. But look, uh, uh, apart from that, Mr. Sakaya, I want us to get back to how things were, you know? Before all this bad stuff. You mean the bad stuff you did? <laughs> you know, you really are your father's son. Ever since Umama died at his hands, I realized which man no Baba. He's just the same. Okay, Julie. I... Please leave me alone, Saul. As far as I'm concerned, I don't know anyone called Saul, or Bandile for that matter. I'd like to keep it that way. Bye. <laughs> eh, I know you'll be thinking this woman that is calling me every day like this, eh? Sheko sin kokon. Ah, never. Mom, never. I actually love it that you call me. I'm very glad that we can actually talk like this. Uh huh, me too, Khalil. Because after that, our very first phone call, eh? You know, me too. My heart is glad, eh? And I want to be calling you more regular, you know, check up on you. I have to ask you, Khalil, have you eaten? Are you taking care of yourself? Because Khalil, you are looking very skinny. I don't understand. Oh, Kim Jeoni, eh? No, indeed. This is, this is just how I am. Ah, what's your... Mm -mm. We have to do something about this. We have to put some flesh on your bone, eh? So my son will be hella hearty. So, will you come and be cooking for me then? Oh, of course, of course, I would like to do that. Jollof rice, chicken, and things, eh? Don't worry, we will get there, you hear? But uh, it's not that I will come and cook for you and one small girl will tell me there's no salt in my in my food, bro. Eh? Mm -hmm. How? Ah, ah, Kali. Why are you behaving like you don't understand what I'm talking about now? You, I'm sure you have one girlfriend now. Abby. You want to tell me you don't have a boo? <laughs> Mommy, boo. <laughs> Who's teaching you all these kind of words? Ah, look at this boy, you. Ah, Mommy knows plenty slang. I know slang. <laughs> like when people say, boss, boss, boss. That means somebody is fighting, Shabby. 
<laughs> hey, wait, mommy, you really know. Ah, I know. And then, and then when something is uh, too good to be true, the people will say, Mado. Mado. <laughs> ah, I have one more. When one boy wants to befriend a girl and he's been talking and talking and talking, and then this girl says no, they will say she has cough him. Cough him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, you you really know, you really know. I I beg you, don't do that. Would do you really? <laughs> Mado, what is it coming? Oh my, Kali! Oh my! <laughs> you didn't respond to a message about the masks. That's because I have a lot of questions, Bandil. Or should I call you so? Okay, Zama. We are to say I'm so what? So what? So what? <laughs> You're still manipulative as ever, aren't you, so? I hope you haven't raped anybody recently, though. Zama, listen. I'm not that person anymore, okay? I don't want any of the things I did back then to be trailing me to, to right now. Any of the things you did back then. Are you hearing yourself? Mfetu, you do know how to minimize things, don't you? I'm not minimizing anything, okay? I didn't kill Utsulu. I wasn't the one who knocked her down. But you were the one who raped her. You raped her. And then you posted that scandalous video that ruined her life. Had you not done that, Wamhlanga Hlang missing all away, now she wouldn't have walked out into the road. Yeah, but I did my time. So often and did. So remember Limo? The kid that you turned into your drug courier. Remember how he got stabbed and he nearly died? Okay, listen. You in. think you can change your name when and then everything you've done will be hey, forgiven? Hey, hey, hey! Who do you think you are, huh? Chowando Masano Bala Makamako Tel Namiev. What's wrong with me? Listen, Samu, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean any of that. I just get really worked up by... Bye-bye. So... Zap. Sorry, I woke you up. No, it's fine. I was just taking a nap. What's up? It's so. I just spoke to him and it was a mess. Really? He got so mad when I confronted him about the things he did. T, you should have seen his eyes. Like, they were full of fire. He even threatened me. Shit. I can't take chances with this guy, Dineo. Sol is a dangerous man and we've already seen what this bastard can do. When it comes to him, I'd rather be on the safe side. Yeah. So, are you going to tell his girlfriend? Everything. Habandila is bad news and she needs to know. Telepathy is so on point. I was actually about to call you. You won't believe. No, no, no. You won't believe what just happened to me. I promise you, my news is way spicier. I can be spicy too. I mean, does your news include a hot accountant and late night DMs? Nope, I don't think so. No, 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 friend. That sounds tame in comparison. <sighs> Fine, you first. So, Jimmy, some nobody just decided to send me a message claiming that my boyfriend, Bandile, is a convicted criminal. What? Oh, wait. There's more. So, she claims that his real name is Sol, not Bandile, and that apparently her whole entire neighborhood knows him as a drug dealer and a rapist. Friend, my sweet, loving Bandile, 
Have you ever? Wow, those are some serious allegations. What did Bandila say? Please, I'm not gonna tell him any of this nonsense. She's just a troll looking for some attention and I already gave her way too much by even responding. But it's kind of strange that somebody would fabricate an entire story about Bandile. I mean, not that these things don't happen, but if it's a lie, it's quite in laboratory. I mean, fake name, convict, rapist, it's a lot. If I were you, I wouldn't just let it pass by so quickly. Oh, wait, friend, now, so you think that there might be some truth to all of this? <sighs> Look, I think it's better to be safe than sorry. I mean, it could be the angel Bandile that you've always known, or he could be this monster soul. Don't you really want to find out? No. Come on, Bali, you don't mean that. I mean, if there's any truth to this, there could be information online. I think you owe it to yourself to just really find out. But if it's true, then that means that I had sex with a criminal. Friend, that is gross. Bali, is that really all you're concerned about? I mean, he could have done the same to you. Okay, I say some stupid shit when I'm nervous, you know that. But to be quite honest, Oli, I, I don't think I want to deal with this right now. Then let me deal with it for you. Why did you say his name is supposed to be? Um, apparently so Solom Zishezi. I don't know, but that sounds like a made-up name to me, hey? Wait, shucks. Oh my god, Odi, he's, he's calling me. Bandila's calling me. Oh no, I'm not answering him. I don't want to deal with this right now. Yeah, I don't think you should talk to him until we find out the truth. Actually, I'm doing an online search right now. No, 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 friend, please don't, don't. Bali, this could be life or death information. I know that, but friend, I don't know if I'm ready to deal with it, hey? I really, I, you know, I, I just, I don't want to deal with any of this right now. My friend, please, can you just stop? Fine, it's your funeral. Oh, D. Frances, what a nice surprise. How about you now? Surviving. What else can I do? But I really miss our group therapy sessions. I realize that talking honestly about your feelings is not encouraged in the real world. You speak the truth, my sister. People are always pretending. But you know you can talk to me. You know I understand. I find myself getting anxious all over again. I mean, I know my rapist are behind bars now and can't hurt me anymore, but the spirit of rape cases in the media is really affecting me. I haven't had a panic attack the other day. These rape cases are bringing back memories for me too, but I'm trying to stay busy. You know, I can't dwell on it. Francis, it is so easy to let this consume you. You have to fight it. I am. And I decided to do something about it. I was hoping you would help me. Okay. How? I've been working as an activist against gender-based violence for a while now. And I've done a few talks in some schools, but I want to up the ante. So I came up with the idea to plan a webinar so we can get more people talking about it and looking for solutions to this rape crisis. That is a great idea, Francis. Seems like you have it all figured out. So what do you need from me? Well, I'm no far. I don't have the clout you do. Clout? Me? Yes, you. People respect you as a performer and a rape survivor. You could bring some much needed awareness to this cause, Fa. This is our chance to help women who can't help themselves. You're right. I'm in. Send me an email stating exactly what you want to do and I'll see what I can come up with and get back to you. Cool? Sounds like a plan. Thanks, Fa. You're welcome. Although I feel like we need to bring someone else on board. You know, someone that's bigger that can even spread the word further. Okay. But I think it should be a guide though show people that rape is not just a woman's issue. We need male allies in this fight. I couldn't agree with you more. Okay, what about a he's from MTV Base? I think he'll be down to help us. Well, now you're talking. I knew you were the person to call. Bah, the girl with the master plans. Hey. Pourquoi est-ce que tu te laisses pas un peu porter et tu y vas? 
J'ai l'impression que je te saoule. Non, je n'ai rien contre toi, Ruby. Mais dans ce cas-là, prouve-le. Viens me voir un verre avec moi. Non. Euh, mais tu sais, parfois, on a toujours besoin d'un ami, tu vois. Et si c'est ce que je recherche, bah, je suis là aussi pour toi. Laisse tomber. Euh, Est-ce qu'il y a un événement ce week-end et tout le monde y sera, c'est un événement de danse où on sera en extérieur, tout le monde aura un masque et on respectera les distances. C'est est ce qu'il y a un manque pas une pour faire passer un message positif. Ouais. ouais, ça semble super. Mais je vais devoir décliner. Ouais. Tu sais quoi, si tu veux rester en nuit, reste en nuit. Moi, je serai beaucoup trop occupée à se taper tous les événements. Au lieu de rester avec un mec comme toi. Oh là là. Écoute, je ne suis pas tellement dans ce milieu, tu vois, et je ne suis pas tellement bon danseur. Euh, mais écoute, bon courage avec ton tournage, hein Ok, oh, salut Daniel. <rire> salut Ruby, <rire> toujours aussi explosif. Oh mon dieu. Je ne viendrai pas à l'événement. Tu n'arriveras pas à me faire changer d'avis. C'est pas pour ça que je t'appelle. Ah ouais C'est pourquoi cette fois-ci Tu te souviens la dernière fois quand, quand tu m'as dit que si j'avais besoin d'un ami, tu serais là. Est-ce que... Est-ce que tu le pensais vraiment Ouais, bien sûr. Parce que je peux pas en parler à mes amis. Pourquoi parce que j'ai honte, j'ai pas envie qu'elle qu le sache. Écoute, vas-y, hein, je suis sûr que ce n'est pas aussi grave que ça. Tu sais, l'esprit souvent nous joue des tours. Hein, il nous fait voir des choses de manière plus grave, que ça me lève vraiment et ça me fait stresser. Donc vas-y. Un mec avec qui j'ai couché m'a envoyé un message pour me dire que c'était séropositif. Ah merde. Ah oh, ouais, merde. C'est le cas de Dieu. Et c'était quand la dernière fois, si je peux demander Ouais, tu peux citer. C'était il y a longtemps, c'était un moment, mais, mais on l'a fait sans protection. Euh, écoute, ben, tout le monde fait des erreurs. Ouais, il y en a certaines qui sont quand même plus débiles que les autres. Il n'y a pas de place actuellement pour le regret. Euh, ça ne te serait d'aucune utilité. Ce qui compte actuellement, c'est ce que tu comptes faire. Je n'arrive plus à réfléchir. Mon cerveau a arrêté de fonctionner quand j'ai reçu ce message. Je ne sais pas quoi faire. Euh, je te conseille de te faire tester le plus vite possible. Ah, tu peux faire un autotest en privé à la maison. Vraiment Oui, parce que j'ai vraiment pas envie que quelqu'un soit au courant. Non, ton statut, ça te regarde, Ruby. Et c'est vrai que c'est difficile, mais il a fait la meilleure chose en te laissant savoir. Comme ça, tu pourras faire quelque chose à propos de ça. Non, mais j'imagine. Mais, mais et si je suis positive Qu'est-ce que ma vie va devenir Comment tout va changer Il y a une vie avec le VIH, ce n'est pas la fin du monde. Qu'est-ce que t'en sais T'es séropositif peut-être Non, mais regarde Tony, le VIH ne l'a pas empêché de vivre sa meilleure vie. Et si tu es séropositif, bah, tu le pourrais aussi. Mais j'ai tellement peur. Oui, je sais, mais tu es plus forte que ce que tu crois. Et si tu es séronégatif, bah, tu seras tellement soulagé et tu pourras ne plus coucher sans te poser avant la prochaine fois. Ouais, j'imagine. Tu sais quoi Je crois que je vais me ruiner toutes mes chances avec toi en me disant tout ça. Hmm? Ruby, ce n'est pas ça le plus important. Hein? Tu dois faire ton autotest et te préparer mentalement à ce que te promet le futur. Hmm? Et souviens-toi, je suis au bout du fil si tu as besoin de moi. Merci. We are just trying to deal with the aftermath of the surge of coronavirus infection, so we don't have time to panic. We just buckle down and fight. But 
in those quiet moments when I'm alone, I sometimes wonder, what if we can't beat this? I forbid you to think that way, please. Can you forbid me? You sound like my dad when I was trying to date in high school. <laughs> yes, there's a reason he's my favorite uncle. <laughs> but seriously though, the world's greatest minds are working together to kick COVID butt. So yes, it's taking time, but we really need them to get it right. So in the meantime, we'll just keep on keeping on because we don't have a choice. Do you hear? I hear you guys. It was just a little moment of weakness. I understand. But there's no room for negativity. Not now. I lost five patients this week. And one of them was in his 30s, a day. And all the signs said that he should have recovered, but he didn't. It was horrible. And then I had to tell his wife, and they'd only been married a few months. But still, I had to go back to the ward and instill some positivity in my patients. I know people really want us to get back to business again, but we ain't there yet. We are not out of the woods yet. Nowhere near. Yeah, I know, but it's really hard for everyone to accept. All I see are people forgetting the rules. Instead of being more vigilant about the face masks, the hand washing, and the social distancing. You know, young people seem to be the biggest culprits. If we're gonna beat this, they need to take this thing seriously. Yeah, but it's a tricky situation still. So take Hadiza, for example. She really wants to go and bury her father, but she's not allowed to travel. And I personally really wish that I could do something, but I don't make the rules. Poor Hadiza. That story is becoming way too familiar. Well, enough of the serious talk, eh? Please. How is, um, how is Greg? How are you guys? Physically, he's fine. Mentally, not so much. He really doesn't want to go back to the office. He's convinced himself that he will catch COVID on the first day. <laughs> but he's following all the guidelines. It's good. That's how you guys will keep each other safe. Mm-hmm. And you, any new prospects? Are you serious? Prospects where? In the middle of this COVID crisis. Abba. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, crisis situations can create serious sparks. All that pent up stress, girl, keep your eyes open. <laughs> whoa, 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 see, the only sparks that I have seen recently is when I had to put that doctor guy in his place. Can you imagine he had the nerve to come up to me and tell me that, eh, that he has seen gray in my hair, that I might shall not hurry up and marry one of these desperate men so he can give me children before my eggs dry up. <laughs> I can never understand why do these sexist assholes think we care what they think? Please, after I give him the tongue lashing of his life, he will never come and talk to me again. <laughs> Try! I know that's the best thing all too well. Poor guy, he probably had to run home to his mama for comfort. <laughs> well, very soon, eh? I will go and rent boyfriend just so you people can just shut up and leave me alone. Ah, not singular, singular, no key person. <laughs> <laughs> So you need to just relax and stop worrying about what Gabriel is up to. He's no longer your business because I can gain in the wimpy Okay? Like, you're free because you're free and you're safe and you freaking won. You're right. I freaking won. Exactly. So you need to hold on to that. Like, let it fuel you up a bit. You policy energy. Do you get me? Thanks, cuz. And, um, how are you feeling? After. You can say it. Abortion. Well, I know I made the right decision. And I have no regrets. I just find myself getting emotional. I think I cried like 10 times in the last 24 hours. I would be a little worried if you weren't emotional. Mm -hmm. So, did Saul's girlfriend get back to you? Yeah, she did. And she sent me a very nasty message. Basically, Angela to go F myself. Mm, she doesn't believe you. Oh, but it's understandable. I mean, it's a lot to take in. <sighs> yeah, D, I guess. But I tried, okay? My conscience is clear. And Saul, are you still going to work with him? I need his business so badly. Like, so badly. But I don't want to take money from Saul. This whole situation reminds me of this Andile thing. Like, just taking money from a bad person only leads to trouble. 
I agree. Stick to your principles, cuz. And I'm proud of you. <laughs> yeah, but my principles are not going to help me save my nail bar. My landlord called me and said I need to pay my rent the next couple of days or he's cancelling my lease. I begged D. I begged till my face turned blue, but he just didn't budge. Shit. How much is it? It's too much. I will not be able to get that much money so quickly. Mm. But you can't give up, cuz. Maybe you can sell your masks online? You never know. Uh, no. No, thank you. I am not doing anything online after the last time. That dick pic traumatized me. For life. I'll find another way. There's ways to keep trolls away. You just need to get someone to set up your website for you. You know I don't have that much of money. Okay. We'll find another way. Hi, young man. <clears throat> Mr. Villacas, um, I was so surprised when I received your message. No, it's nothing bad. Don't look too worried. <laughs> okay. Look, uh, Lemo, I, I, I just wanted to find out if and when will you be joining us back at school? Um, well... I know everyone is worried, uh, Lemo, uh, you know, with the health risk that that poses. Especially for you, you know, because you don't have a parent to take you through that. Yeah. And having lost Antu Nomalanga, you know? Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. The thought of me having to go outside and be with people... It's quite scary. Ah, uh, I can only imagine Lemo and uh, Nomalanga. It was tragic. And I was living with her at the time, so it's tough. I'm living with Q now, but... It must be too hard for you, Lemo. I'm sure you haven't even had a chance to think about going back to school. No. Look, it was hard for us as teachers. So for you as the kids who have to do it, I know. But the school is doing everything to make sure that everyone is, is safe, you know, both teachers and learners. Mm. You're such a bright kid, Lemo. I would hate to see you, you know, falling behind and having to repeat next year. Yeah, me too. And I'm sure Auntie Nomalanga wouldn't want that either. I know. I'm here for you, Lemo. I will make it my personal responsibility to make sure that you catch up with your schoolwork and you are at the right mental space for school. Thank you, Mr. Villapasi. Um, but there's still the issue of school fees. Oh, yes, that. Don't worry about that. I will take care of it. Are you serious? Absolutely, absolutely. In exchange, though, you can join the school reopening task force, which its intention is to make sure that learners and, and their families are safe. Oh, I could do that. Great, I like that, I like that. Let's get you back in, young man. Okay. Okay, okay, um, I'll try my best. Thank you so much. Oh, sorry, I woke you. No, it's okay, don't worry about it. I got all the sleep I needed before last night's shift. It's just worry that's keeping me under the covers. It's hard not to carry our patients' worries, isn't it? Uh, excuse me? Who is that? No one. Your eyes are dancing! Oh, it's just this guy I used to know. Leo. Used to know? And now? Is he trying to make a comeback? Um, something like that. <laughs> do you like him? I do, but I'm not sure. So he used to be a bit of a player and an asshole back in the day. Why do the men who steal our hearts have to be like that? I know, right? And I am just tired of being a part of that whole stereotype that says women only like bad boys. Mm, right? But that stereotype is changing. I feel so proud when I scroll down my timeline. Women are being so much more ballsy and bad boys are being less glorified. I know, right? Like when I see a tweet, I'm just like, yes, sister, fight. You know, it's almost like more normal women on social media alone are making their personal feminism known. And then what do you know, feminism becomes a bit more mainstream. Absolutely. It's really impressive how women of our generation just don't take nonsense anymore. And they'll tweet about it. 
and retweet for days. Yeah. Oh, I gotta go. Time for my man. Oh, okay. Say hi to Greg for me. You be well, okay? You too. I did, I did, yeah, and I, I love it. Thank you, baby. I'm gonna sleep in it too, so that way I feel like I'm sleeping next to you. You're so sweet. And I've yet to see you in that lingerie that I sent you. Uh, well, I can't exactly rock it while I'm doing my ward rounds, now can I? <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Uh, I miss you, babe. I miss being with you. Mm, it's killing me. But we will make up for lost time soon. I promise. All right. I'll hold you to that. All right with me. <sighs> but I am proud of us, though, babe. You know how we've been able to make us work. So thank you for making the sacrifices to keep us and people alive. Seriously. I'm just doing my job, babe. Which I have to get back to now. OK. We'll be fine. Hang with your cousin. Play video games. <laughs> if only. I mean, that dude hasn't been out of his room in like two days. Uh, is he isolating? Uh, he's just been moping around for some reason. What's wrong? How should I know? You won't talk to me. Hey, it's a shame, man. People are really going through depressive moments because of this pandemic. Be kind, babe. Okay. I'll call you Antoine. Good luck. Hey, babe. Don't hate babe me. I know who you are. So. I, I, I... Uh, listen, don't even try and lie your way out of this one. No, 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 listen. Bandile is my second name. No, no, it's not. I know everything. Tono, your jail time, you're a rapist. No, 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 no. Listen, no. I know. I know everything. Okay, look. I'm not the same guy I used to be. That's nonsense. Really, I've changed. I really have. I, I, I did time. A blink of an eye. No, I blame the system, not me. I did what I had to do. I'm rehabilitated, okay? This is my own for my arm for me. To have proactive healing. Healing? Healing? Being a rapist is not a disease. You made choices. You violated that girl. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I've taken responsibility for my actions. Okay? I've changed. You have to believe me. I'm sincere, Bali. No. No, I don't believe you, because if you were sincere, you would have been honest with me from the get-go, not giving me a fake name. Look, I did that so that we could have a chance. If you knew who I was, I was just nigga that told me Lord. And that was my choice to make. You robbed me of that choice. You violated me like you violated that girl because you took away that choice from me. My Linda, Clara, please don't tell us. No, I can't believe I was dating a rapist. I can't believe that I slept with a rapist. Bali, I have changed. So what, you don't believe people can change? Uh, I didn't sign up for this. Please, Bali. Please, Clara. I'm so I, I, 
I know who I was. In the best now, I am not now way. I just want us to. Us. There's no us. You lied to me. It's over. No, 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 Mbali. Romeo and Juliet. Bold and the beautiful. I mean, in the best now, you'll be in the. Don't you think that? I think that you're a rapist. And I don't date rapists. So it's over. You lie to me, and it's over. Bandile, or Sol, whatever the hell your name is, I don't give a damn. If you have any questions about COVID-19, text the word COVID to plus four one seven nine eight nine three one eight nine two on WhatsApp. For more information about coronavirus or related issues, visit mtvsugar.com forward slash alone together. Terms and conditions apply.